hey guys, um, Grandpa, did you hear? Uh, I, I got my first hypersonic missile. It, it's called the Mako. Lockheed Martin just, just gave me the hookup. Well, sorry there, young one, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You weren't the only one who got a hypersonic missile. Huh. I have had hypersonic missiles. Oh, would you shut the fuck up and go vomit that shit in a Scott Ritter's mouth like a baby bird? I'm tired of fucking hearing it. We know it's not a real hypersonic because Patriot's been making you its bitch the entire time you've been fucking around in Ukraine, you dipshit. Grandpa's roasts go so fucking hard. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by Slavic Special Ed, yes, you're not the only one who got a new hypersonic missile. The Mako fits on anything that has 30-inch lugs, which means it also fits on the F-16. Oh yeah, baby, light and squirrely, always here early. It fits on the F-18. Can I get a hell yeah? It fits on the F-15. Hot damn, if they weren't screwed before, they're screwed now. 104 and 0, look out below. I took out a satellite just for show. Can also go on the P-8 Poseidon, which is an interesting aircraft. It's like a jumbo jet that's designed to hunt down submarines and other stuff. It's really weird. It's an unsung hero. HLC, do we, do we not have a character for... Make a fucking Poseidon character, HLC. Let's go. Oh, man. They done screwed up now. I can hunt down submarines up here. I can carry all sorts of different munitions. And they just gave me a hypersonic missile. Well, fuck it. We're going to make the world know now. Really? You went with Northeastern United States? Okay. Give me a break, Grandpa Buff. I can only do so many voices, okay? And last but not least, it can fit on the kid. Are you telling me that they just handed me a munition? They can fly over 180 miles at a speed greater than Mach 5 in a non-parabolic trajectory like a stupid Russian Kinzel. Yeah, but here's the kicker for you in the 35. These are 10 feet shorter than a Kinzel, which means they can fit inside of your aircraft, which means they don't negate your stealth ability. And if you need to carry extra, you can strap four more to the outside of your aircraft. America, what are you preparing for? To win. I've about had it with all you asshats over there on the Eurasian continent. Oh, one last thing, Rusky. Just remember, we always undershoot our capabilities. So while you have six aircraft to carry six Kinzels that aren't actually hypersonic, if we have six aircraft fully loaded with our hypersonics, that's 36 missiles, and you know we undershot how fast they move. Have a nice fucking day. Now that I shut up one potential aggressor, I ran. What do you talk about? I do nothing. I've about had it with your proxies. The main reason I backed off in Israel is because the Israelis have pretty much Hamas cornered. There's nothing that they can do. They can't run to Egypt, they can't run anywhere else, and they can't run to the ocean because I was sitting there. So they're absolutely cornered, which is why they're appealing to all the young people in my country on social media. They're killing us, they're killing us. And then you look on the other side and they're still shooting at the IDF. It's like, okay, if you just stop doing that, they probably wouldn't shoot at anybody. You're speaking in riddles. Please be clear. I am not proud of how many times it took me to get that last take. Okay, let me make this as clear as I can. Hamas is more or less finished, the idea for hunting them down. Uh, me, the French, the Australians, the Dutch, the Italians, a couple other countries, um, have now significantly degraded uh, the Houthis' ability to conduct attacks in the Red Sea, and will continue to do so. So now Hezbollah is getting uppity, and we know you're funding all three of these organizations. I am not going to be polite anymore. You lie, America. You always say you're pulling punches, and then you never, you never do anything. You are now upset, and Hezbollah is bombing the living shit out of Israel, and I, I am, I am going to get aggressively involved in the near future. I want you to know that. I'm sending help, and that's all you're getting out of me. I refuse to let Americans use my airfields to escalate the problems here in the Middle East. Huh. Didn't seem to have an issue with it when Saddam Hussein was overrunning your country in 1991 and I came to help and sent him back to factory settings in a hundred fucking hours. But it's okay. We started that fight flying planes out of the United States and they never touched the ground and got all the way back to the United States. I can do it again. I feel like America is actually upset this time. <laughs> when we tell you what we're sending is not when you need to worry. It's when he doesn't tell you what we're sending. We're doing this shit Schwarzkopf style. <laughs> I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Buff, be nice. We don't use napalm anymore, remember? Oh, I forgot we don't use that stuff. We use Willie P only on their equipment. Like the shirt they're wearing. Or the gun they're carrying. Or the vehicle they're riding in. Gotta deny the enemy transportation. Grandpa Buff, 
What does the P in Willie P stand for? The P stands for plenty.